Hey everyone, it is Skylar and welcome back to another Vlogmas, it is Vlogmas Day 20. Yes, I thought I was going to go out today but I was just, I just, I was so tired. But in the end I didn't and I'm glad I didn't because there was a few bits that needed to be doing and I need to sort out my hair. My hair is a mess. Yeah. So yeah, it is like near enough dried because I've just had it washed. So I've got my coffee time here, so yeah. Coffee time, what am I on about coffee time? Coffee. Yeah, big spoon, because I like to do things big. So yeah, so obviously Vlogmas Day 20, I wanted to do something a little bit different for today's Vlogmas, obviously. Um, you guys are like used to see me vlogging or talking about it. and I wanted to just talk about my favourite Christmas movies that I usually like to watch over and over again at Christmas time. Just this is just gonna be off the fly, off the fly moment sort of thing and I thought it'd be something different. I've got a, I've got like a, like twenty minutes or so I can do this. So obviously the first Christmas movie without fail is We've all got to talk about it. Um, I know some people do hate on this movie, but I fucking love this. This The reason being is because it came out the year I was born. I was brought upon this movie, and I love it very, very much. It is, of course, Santa Claus, the movie, starring the, rig, the late, great Dudley Moore um, as one of the elves. Uh, basically, it's about... Obviously, Dudley Moore's character, he's an elf, he wasn't very, like, they all work up in the North Pole and they're not happy doing the same toys. And, um, basically goes to Earth and finds this homeless boy. And then this girl gets involved because her far relation works in a toy factory. And just things delve on through there. And... Um, it makes me cry every time I watch it so it's, it's also one of those movies that makes me like well up and I feel like I'm going to cry so yeah so and I, I usually watch it every Christmas so hopefully fingers crossed it might be on the telly here Christmas day and I'll get to watch it or I'll find it on my phone and get to watch it because that is one of the movies I have to watch every Christmas um, second, um, if you guys don't know, I'm a big Tim Allen fan. Um, I have to watch Santa Claus with an E at the end. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Um, I don't think I really have to go into why I like watching it. It's just one of those movies that just makes me laugh. Um, you need one of those Christmas movies that's got that comedic factor in it. Um, which is just so funny because like it involves obviously Tim Allen's character um, he wants to get um, basically he and his missus aren't together anymore his missus has found somebody else Charlie still wants to be in contact with his father but his dad um, starts to look like Santa Claus and yeah and obviously the mum stopped the woman stopped believing when she was 12 which was his ex missus because she wanted this certain game um, I think it was called dream date that's something like that dream date and didn't believe he was he existed and then she didn't believe that Scott Calvin that's his name the character name Scott Calvin um, was Santa Claus and basically, uh, obviously, in the end, he said, I've got Christmas gifts for you, just wait and see. And then she went, wait, 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 before you go, um, I've got a gift for you. And here's the visitation paper. She said, you can come and see Charlie as often as you like. Um, and then, obviously, Scott Santa Claus gave Charlie this bauble, and he said, every time you shake it, um, I'll come and see you as often as I can. 
And he started shaking, he goes, it doesn't exist. And he goes, he comes back and he went, I was on my way to Cleveland and you just shaked it. And he went, oh, and then he went, uh, I miss you, I just want to go for a quick ride. And then she, and the, the mother goes, well, just a quick one, sort of thing. And then as he, as they leave, um, he gets his, this, um, the stepdad gets the whistle that he didn't get when he was six years old. That's why he stopped believing in Santa. And she finally got her dream date game and she, she went, thank you, Santa. Now I know you're real sort of thing. And it was just one, of, it's, it is a really nice movie. It's, to me, it's very underrated, but I just love it, love it so much. Um, obviously, I prefer the first two, the third one. It's hit and miss with me. So, obviously, another Christmas movie I like to watch. Obviously, I can't get to watch it this year because I'm in Spain. But every single Christmas without fail, there is a certain movie um, from the books by Raymond Biggs. And if you're a gal or guy or whatever from the UK, you recognise what I'm about to talk about. And that's The Snowman. Oh my god, it's only on for like 10 minutes, but it's like, and then you just hear that song, I'm walking in the air. Oh my god. I know that song a lot, and it gives me goosebumps every time I listen to it, every time I hear that song. And it, it's, I'm starting to like, try not to well up because it is one of my, like, obviously, you know that I like certain type of music, but... At Christmas time, that's my jam, that's my song, Walking in the Air. Oh my goodness. And it makes me cry, and I'll start to sing it. Obviously, I'm not singing it on here. So, obviously, the snowman. Um, obviously, I've got to talk about it. It's, of course, Home Alone. And I'm bringing this up because, spoiler alert, Macaulay Culkin. Corley Culkin finally got his star on the Walk of Fame, so congratulations to Macaulay Culkin. I know you blah 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 whatever. And it was just nice at the end where um gotta find figure of I know a name off the top of my head. Ah, oh, the real name. You know who I'm on about Kevin McAllister's mum, who also was um one of the main characters in Beetlejuice, she was the lady that bought the house and she was doing all the sculptures. That character. And she's also the one that sang Sally's song from um, Nightmare Before Christmas. So sh she is very, very underrated. And she's a talented singer as well. So, yeah. And it was also the same time that Zac Efron got his, what, the star on the... Hollywood Walk of Fame, that's it, so yeah, so anyway, and she she basically said, um, sort of along the lines of Kevin, you finally come home, um, you fi we're finally all together and we're all home together, and it was nice to see the cast of Home Alone, so that, this is the movie I'm talking about, Home Alone, and they were all together, so anyway, you know what happens in Home Alone? Um, Kevin, which is Macaulay Culkin's character, um, they uh, they all think they're all together because she has like about twelve kids, um, and they're all going on this vacation. She only realizes when she's on the plane she's forgot Kevin, and she shouts Kevin, <laughs> and she races to get back to the house um, for Christmas. Um, um, John Candy's in it. Is it John Candy? Yeah, John, I think it's John Candy. The, John Candy, before he passed away, he was in it. And, um, yeah, John Candy. And, um, meanwhile, you know, Kevin is, like, home alone. Uh, but he's making out that there's somebody in the house with him. With all these special effects with the teeth, which is so brilliantly done. And then you've got, like, these two Roberts, I think they're called this. It was the something bandits. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. You can give me a... Put it in the comment below. But obviously it was... 
I even forgot the names. But obviously, you know, Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci was one of them. Joe Pesci and then the... Harry and Marv, that's it. Harry and Marv. Harry and Marv, that's it. So, they come to where Kevin stays and like Kevin sets up all these traps so he, he don't rub the stuff. And it was just, oh, it was so brilliant. It's a must-see Christmas movie, but you can also watch it any time of the year. But like, that's all I'm giving you spoilers on that. I mean, oh, there's loads of movies. There's like Little Women, there's Gremlins. Um, obviously, I like to watch Little Women. Gremlins, I like to watch. Uh, Miracle on 34th Street, the remake with Mara Wilson, which is, she's from Matilda. Um, oh my goodness, Christmas movies. And obviously, I did actually watch last year for Christmas, which was The Messenger. Um, it's a biblical movie. And I'll probably be watching that again Christmas time. Without fail, um, obviously. Um, I can't remember what else I like to watch. Oh goodness! Um, and you know when you're just trying to think of what movies. Obviously, you've got like your classics like Dirty Dancing, Grease Two. I love watching Grease Two at Christmas time. It's weird for me, but like as I do love Grease. I do really like watching Grease, but I love Grease 2 better. I you know people are going to be shouting at the screens, Why do you like Grease 2 better? Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, because I love Michelle Pfeiffer and Cool Rider. Just put those together. And then, um, oh man, what else? Oh... I think in like two seconds. Oh man. And I like the monsters. The weird thing for me, I, I always watch, I always do like, I, I always do usually a marathon of TV, a, a TV series over Christmas, watch the entire season. I'm just trying to think what else, and then I try and squeeze a couple of horror movies. Obviously, Gremlins, you always do that. Big, big is another one I like to watch over Christmas, which I actually watched recently on Spanish TV in Spanish, <laughs> which is, sounds really, really crazy, but yeah. Um, but usually Christmas time, it's time for like, um, more like comedies that I like to watch. Oh yeah, and um, oh, what's Little Nicky? I love watching Little Nicky with Adam Sandler. So they're just some of the movies I like to watch over Christmas, um, and some I've like talked about. Um, if there's any more, oh yeah, and Terminator, Terminator Two. Yes, Terminator Two is a movie that we like to watch over Christmas, and the Ghost Ghostbusters. Boom, got it, Ghostbusters. I was like thinking at the top of my head, I was like, I'm sure I watched this. Yeah, Ghostbusters. You know the story. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So that's just off the fly. What I like to watch during this Christmas holiday season. But it's bit mainly, I like to put in a couple of horrors, couple of, <gasps> Silent Night, Deadly Night. Um, and... Santa's sleigh with Bill Goldberg. Gotta have those in as well. So mainly, it's mainly like I might I like to watch a couple of Christmas horrors. Um, and by the way, anyone that likes Frozen about the the ski lift holiday, I I that was one of the only movies I've ever watched. I couldn't watch all the way through because I thought it was shit. But any other movie, I'll, I'll try my best to watch, but I can't watch Frozen. And not the Elsa version. There's a different version that you're trapped in a ski lift and it's a horror. <laughs> not watch that. 
Um, but anyway, but other than that, it's mainly like comedies. Um, few. It's more like comedy horrors, like little monsters and stuff like that, and um, Gremlins and um, Santa's sleigh and Jack Frost. You sort of that movies, and then you've got like the snowman, and then you've got the Santa Claus, Santa Claus the movie, um, the monsters. Christmas special, I like to watch that, and then the Christmas, and like Mrs. Brown Boy's Christmas specials as well, so yeah, but this year, it's my first year in Spain, I don't, I have no idea what I'm going to watch uh, this year, there might be a Christmas special somewhere, a Spanish version, but I'll watch it anyway, but yeah, and if it's any decent, I'll let you guys know what it's about, so that was just a rundown of my favourite Christmas, like, not necessarily the some of my favourites, but just Christmas movies I generally like to watch over this holiday season, this Christmas season. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, turn that notification bell and you'll get a brand new vlogmas video from me tomorrow. Hopefully I will be out, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, let's see, yep, it's size day off. So, we got a lot tomorrow, so hopefully I can go out for a little bit um, and film a little something for you guys. But I know we're going to be taking a few photos tomorrow for like Christmas time and just looking good and all that shit. <laughs> but anyway, stay gaudy and have unpleasant dreams and I hope to see you guys tomorrow for the next installment of Vlogmas. I still got 10 days of this to go. Remember, I finish on the 1st of January, everybody else finishes Christmas Eve. So... Ciao, talk to you soon. Bye.